on everyone, it's Stephen here for Hey Techie and welcome back to the channel that's dedicated to everything to do with the Apple Smart Home. Today we're going to be having a look at this, it's the Onvis CT3 contact sensor and comparing it with its predecessor the CT2 which we reviewed on the channel almost two years ago now. Both of these devices are smart contact sensors which are the backbone of many smart homes thanks to how versatile they are and how easy they are to connect with in HomeKit. So in this video we'll be having a look at the CT3 and I'll be summing up whether I think it's worth the upgrade if you've already got the CT2 in your smart home. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Before we go any further though, I just want to say thank you ever so much to Onvis for sending us the CT3 to review. Whilst Onvis have sent us this device, we do treat every single device that we look at on this channel with exactly the same attitude, and we always make sure to report completely honestly on our experience with these devices. You can find out more about our ethics statement on our website at heytechie.co.uk forward slash our promise. So this is the Onvis CT3. Unboxing it, you'll see that it's almost identical to the CT2, and indeed the contents inside the box are the same as well. You'll find the large main sensor, a smaller magnet, a couple of spaces, and of course the instructions with the all important HomeKit setup code. In terms of design, you'll see that when you put the two devices side by side, that they're almost identical, although the CT3 does look slightly more streamlined thanks to the fact that Onvis has relocated the logo size and placement, and they also include a HomeKit QR code on the front of the device as well. It is very easy to remove, and for aesthetic purposes, I would definitely recommend that you do so, and Onvis have helpfully included another QR code for HomeKit on the instruction manual as well, just in case you lose one of them. The setup process for the CT3 is very straightforward. As with all HomeKit devices, it's a case of simply scanning the QR code. The process is identical to the CT2, although I did find it to be slightly faster thanks to the fact that the CT3 has a bit of a spec bump under the hood. And this is really where the fundamental difference between these two devices comes. The CT3 now supports Thread, which is a mesh communications protocol that allows devices to communicate quicker and over an alternative to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Bluetooth is the slowest option available for smart homes, and this is really where the value of the CT3 comes in. The response times are almost instantaneous, and based on my testing, I've not had any problems with drop connection or a slow response time with this device. So ultimately then, when it comes to comparing both of them, how do I think that they fare, and is it worth upgrading to the CT3? Well, in terms of setup, both integrate seamlessly with HomeKit and offer a wide range of automation possibilities. However, due to the faster response time of the CT3, thanks to Thread, the automations are noticeably faster, and for this reason, I think the CT3 has far more versatility within a smart home. For this reason alone, I think the upgrade is certainly worthwhile, especially when you consider that the CT3 is coming in at around £30 on Amazon at the moment, and that's a reasonable price to pay for an excellent contact sensor that is as reliable as this one. As with other Onvis products, there are no central hubs required, and although Akara has a cheaper contact sensor, you will have to invest in a hub as well, which is a much larger commitment compared to just buying a single unit like the CT3. Turning our attention though to the CT3's downside, the Onvis app is still basic and does need some improvements, but it does serve its purpose. In addition, Onvis once again find themselves behind the rest of the field, having only just introduced this thread model in 2023. With Matter increasingly becoming the standard amongst smart home manufacturers, the fact that this only supports HomeKit will be a limitation to some, although if you're committed to HomeKit it won't be an issue. Those who are concerned about future proofing may want to hold back on this device in case Onvis decide to release a Matter edition in the future. So in conclusion then, whilst the CT2 has been a solid device in my HomeKit ecosystem, the CT3 brings significant improvements across the board, especially in terms of speed and reliability thanks to thread support. 
if you are a current CT2 user and thinking of upgrading, or if you're new to HomeKit with contact sensors, then the Onvis CT3 would make a worthwhile addition to any smart home setup. Over the coming weeks, I'm going to be putting together a compilation video about how to use contact sensors in your smart home. If you would like to see that video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our future videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any questions about this device, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Until next time then, I've been Stephen for Hey Techie.